What is going on, everybody? Look at that. I think I mentioned last time I, I saw you that I was due for a haircut. And um, that I that I was and 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 the haircut I got. Uh, it was a long, long overdue haircut. Um, the last time I got one was four weeks ago. So when you're trying to maintain somewhat of a skin fade, you don't let it go four weeks. And um, yeah, I was just, you know, every time I went in the gym, I was looking at myself and I thought, fuck you ugly prick. <laughs> Get this shit sorted. And so I finally did. All right, so today is Thursday. Thursday the 31st of August. And I almost hit a duck. Um, this is the Avon River, guys. Beautiful Avon River, which runs from one side of Christchurch all the way to the other. Those are the Port Hills in the background. That little path is a path on the other side of the river that I um, have frequented a lot over the years, especially whilst staying with my dad. Um, and it's always, like, especially on a morning like this, a crisp, coming into the end of winter, start of spring morning, a crisp spring morning in Christchurch, you cannot beat it. And so, speaking of exercise, um, I'm about to go and do some. I'm going to go and reconnect with the athletics track here in Christchurch. And it's a really, really impressive facility. And <clears throat> currently it's the only athletics track we've got here in Christchurch. It's, um, you know, it's fully up to, I guess, uh, international athletic standard. I don't know exactly what the standards are, but it's up there. And so what that means is that hopefully, being that it's a Thursday, being that the majority of people would be at work right now, I'm hoping that I'm going to be the only one there and it's going to be a very spiritual and, 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 and rewarding experience because, you know, it takes me about half an hour to get there. But once I, and that's, that's what always puts me off. I live on one side of Christchurch. This athletics stadium slash track is on the other side of Christchurch. And it's always, you know, it's always a mission. I always have the best of intentions when I go to bed, but I wake up in the morning and I think, oh, nah, nah, I'll do this instead. And I put it off and I put it off. But this morning, being that it's the last day in Christchurch, I thought, nah, no, whatever your brain tries to tell you, put it to the wayside, stick to your guns, and get out to the track for a bit of exercise, a bit of measurable exercise. And so this morning I'm going to go to the track, I'm going to run a Bronco test, which is a, uh, a fitness test, then I'm going to run a a pacer test, aka the beep test, and so I'm going to have two measured runs that I can then work on uh, improving into the future. And um, what I'm also going to do is make this video, which is day 46. I'm going to make another video for my main channel talking about returning to the rugby field, and then I'm going to make individual videos around both running tests. So I'll make one video around the beat test and then I'll make another separate video around the Bronco test. So I'll do a, a bit of an introduction. I'll run through the test, look at my time, talk about how it went and then you know coming home hopefully in a couple of hours I'll have four videos or at least the footage for four videos under my belt and then I can edit them in my own time. Because uh, this afternoon I will be packing away my computer, I'll be packing away my cameras, uh, my memory cards, everything to do with content creation. So today is literally the last day and I don't know whether I'll get it out straight away when I get back to Alice Springs. Obviously I assume the first thing my daughter's going to ask is for me to take her for a bike ride and I simply cannot wait. So you know content creation is going to take a back seat to whatever I need to do um, as far as you know entertaining my kids as far as 
making sure that I get some exercise in each and every day, and also securing a new full-time job. So those are my three priorities as soon as I get back to Alice Springs. But today, I'm gonna have some fun. And so, I will see you guys at the track. Just before I do go, I just wanna mention that this morning I have gotten through, and I've pushed through, without the use of alcohol, some pretty intense anxiety. And the anxiety came over me as soon as I woke up. Um, I lay in bed for about half an hour, not wanting to open my eyes because I didn't want to face the day. And it's like, what are you scared of? What are you actually scared of? And I think fundamentally it was getting up and, and following through with my plan to go and do this. I mean, it's, 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 it does take some convincing, you know? I take some convincing sometimes. Even though I've done all the convincing I could ever do the night before, as soon as I wake up, I think it's these these tendencies, these feelings, these initial feelings that come over me really, really intensely first thing in the morning. Um, they're the same feelings that I had when I was drinking every day. And it's, uh, it's just a sense of, it's, it's, a, it's a sense that you're, lost, you're losing control. It's a feeling of, you know, a, a total loss of control over your life. And what that manifested in this morning is just a whole heap of, a whole heap of <clears throat> thoughts from the past. Just, you know, negative, depressive thoughts about mistakes I've made in the past and, and, uh, if we're talking about just the last four weeks, you know, what haven't you achieved over these four weeks? You know, what, you know, you're gonna, you, you, you've got one day to go, Jacob, one day to go, you know, and just an overall sense of, I don't know, man, I don't know. I just went through it. I went through it this morning, I really did. Some, uh, some negative, regretful type thoughts and I thought, nah mate, you've laid here for half an hour, open your eyes, get up, have a shower, and just see how you feel after that. Because inevitably, if I do get in the shower, I, I do spend about 15 or 20 minutes in there, um, I brush my teeth a couple of times, wash myself, think about the day, put my thoughts in order, and lo and behold, by the time I got out of the shower, I was ready to go. Those thoughts had been not completely um, put out, but certainly put to the wayside. And I knew that I just needed to, I needed to get out of the house desperately. I, I didn't wanna, the last thing I wanted to do was, was stay in the house for the majority of the morning because I've done that over the last week. I've, I've been editing videos and, and I've mentioned it before, the, the longer the day goes, the less motivated I am to get out of the house and to go and do some exercise and, and clear my head. Um, and so this morning, I've jumped the gun, I've said no editing until I get home at least, and I am out to the athletics track and I cannot wait. So I am gonna drink this and prepare myself for a little bit of exercise, measurable exercise, which I always like. So thanks for sticking with me this morning. This video has probably gone about 10 minutes and we haven't even started. Wow. Base, <coughs> look, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Basically what I, look, before I went down a couple of rabbit holes, what I was trying to explain with the, the anxiety this morning is just, I don't think I'm over that, that initial feeling. Like, I, I've, I'm still convincing, my, my brain is still in that, in that cycle of, of first thing in the morning, you know, looking for anything negative, you know, kicking myself for the, for the decisions that I'd made the day before. And you know, I didn't make any bad decisions the day before, so why am I, why am I trying to, why am I, you know, constantly trying to look for something negative or, and, and look, if, and you know where my brain went. My brain went from, okay, no, you didn't do anything negative yesterday. You actually had a good productive day. 
okay, so what else can we worry about? And so that's when my brain went, you know, into the past and mistakes I've made, you know? It's, it's really difficult sometimes to get yourself out of that. But I was able to because I saw it for what it was. I don't want to look into the past and as far as the last week or so is concerned, I've made really healthy choices. So there's nothing to be anxious about. And whilst I was in bed, I couldn't convince myself of that. But once I got out of the shower, I had convinced myself of that. Anyways, guys, that's enough from me. See you soon. All right. Whew. I'm all done for the morning. It's about, uh, it's just turned 11 o'clock. And um, I've just finished a, a beep test and a couple of bronco tests. So those will be made up into individual videos for my main channel. And I'm excited to put those out, but I'm more excited to, to work on it. You know what I mean? To put those out as day one, as you know, a base, a base level of fitness and just try and improve on the times. I got uh, a level 11 for the beep test and I got my bronco done in about five and a half minutes. So there's a huge amount of room for improvement. The fact that I did both on the same day is probably not ideal for the times. But like I said, I, I, just, I just needed to clock a time in each of those fitness tests so that I can improve. But I mean, what, what a pristine facility. Absolutely incredible. And I'm so, so glad that I, I came out and used it before I head back to, to Alice Springs. I'm not sure if you can see, but there are snow-topped mountains in the background, which makes it that much better. So, until next time, Napuna Wai Athletics Track, it's been a pleasure. And I'll see you guys when I get home. Right guys, I'm home now. This will be the final clip of the day. I've just gone and edited um, day 44 and day 45. And day 44 is a video that is literally almost 40 minutes long. And I want to say wholeheartedly, I apologize. I apologize for my <laughs> taking the channel name to just a different level of literal meaning. It's okay to talk. Yes, it is okay to talk, but God damn. God damn, I just can't shut up sometimes it seems. So, it's been a productive day. Um, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm getting anxious now because I feel like I'm rushing. Uh, but that's, that's, it was always gonna be that way. I was always gonna try, look, I, I had to cross off the majority of the videos that I wanted to create prior to going back to Alice, but I have created some, especially the ones around going out to the track and also, um, and uh, just an update for my main channel as well. So it's been, a, it's been a very productive day, a very busy day. It's my final day. I've got two more hours until I need to be somewhere. So uh, yeah, it's all go. It's all go, getting prepared to, to leave New Zealand. It's, fuck, it's come, it's come around real quick. It literally feels like yesterday I was down in Dunedin for my first weekend here. And here we are four weeks later, so. Um, what a journey. I've pretty much, I've taken you along for the ride, you know, you've, you've, you've been with me the whole time and I, I really appreciate that. So I'm going to make tomorrow's video in transit, Christchurch to Alice Springs. I am going to, I've got this, this idea in my head to, to, to take a video whilst walking through the duty free store. And if I can get through that, and it's no guarantee, I'm telling you that right now, but if I can get through that without buying a drink of alcohol, and also get through my two plane rides without consuming any alcohol on there. I mean, it's literally like an eight hour, nine hour transit from Christchurch to Alice Springs. Two flights, um, two hours in, in Melbourne. And I am going to be presented with opportunities to consume alcohol from left, right and centre. And it's going to be up to me to get through that. And I feel as confident right here, right now as I ever have been. And it, or as, as I ever will. Um, as I can ever expect to be. So it's going to be a big day. I've got nothing more left to say. I said it all on day 44. I mean, once again, sorry, I apologize, but um, this channel is called It's Okay to Talk for a reason. 
and uh, that's what I'm doing. So, once again, I can't like I can't believe we've we've turned it around the way we have, but there's been there's been reasons for that. There's been there's been ways in which ways and means of me to get through, especially the first few days, and now we're sort of we're definitely on a roll now. Um, I can see the light, and um, and all is well. So day 46 is in the books, and I will see you guys all tomorrow.